American Dragon presents Chinese Medicine in America. My name is Joel Penner. I'm a doctor of Oriental Medicine, a California licensed acupuncturist and herbalist, and a professor of Oriental Medicine. I'm also co-author of the textbook Zong Fu Syndromes, Differential Diagnosis and Treatment. I will start this series by talking about the yin organs, the Zong. In this episode, I'll be talking about the kidneys. It's very important at this point for me to remind you that even though they share the same names, the Chinese organs are vastly different from the Western organs. If you try to impose your Western understanding on the Chinese organs, you'll get completely confused. Only in certain instances do they overlap. The Zong Fu are energy or qi transformers in a complex bioenergetic system and their functions relate to their qi transformation processes. Please look at this chart next to me. There are 12 functions of the kidneys that I'll be presenting. First, the kidneys store congenital qi. Congenital qi is the original source of qi for the body. This qi is passed to us from our parents. Congenital qi is the blueprint or operating system that determines the physiological functioning of the entire body. Second, the kidneys store jing and govern birth, growth, reproduction, and development. Congenital qi is the source of jing, which contains our DNA and is the map for reproduction, growth, development, decline, and death. There are two types of jing, prenatal and postnatal. Prenatal jing consists of a specific finite amount of substance. It is depleted by a poor lifestyle and when it's used up, the person dies. It cannot be replenished. Postnatal jing, on the other hand, supports prenatal jing and can be replenished by a healthy lifestyle with pure food and drink and plenty of appropriate exercise. Therefore, if we maintain a healthy lifestyle, we can live a long, productive life. When jing is deficient, we see symptoms such as infertility, physical and or mental underdevelopment, retarded growth, premature graying of the hair, and senility. Aging is the physiological decline of jing. Third, the kidneys are considered the root of yin and yang for the entire body. They are the origin of fire and water, and control warming and cooling. They govern the transformation and transportation of body fluids and provide the qi necessary for the bladder to store and transform urine. They act like a gate in the lower part of the body. In disease, there is an imbalance between kidney yin and yang, causing the gate to be either too open or too closed. If it's too open, there will be profuse, clear urination. If it's too closed, there will be scanty, dark-colored urination. Kidney yang provides the heat necessary for the intestines function of separating pure from impure fluids and the spleen's function of transformation and transportation of fluids. Each of these will be discussed in later episodes. Fourth, the kidneys produce marrow, fill up the brain, and control the bones. Kidney jing is the organic foundation for the production of marrow. Marrow, in Chinese medicine, is more than just bone marrow in Western medicine. It is the common matrix of bones, bone marrow, the brain, and the spinal cord. The brain has a physiological relationship with the kidneys. If kidney jing is strong, it will nourish the brain, concentration, and memory. Thinking, hearing, and sight will be keen. The kidneys are held to be the origin of skill and intelligence, so if the brain is not adequately nourished by the kidneys, there may be poor memory, lack of concentration, dizziness, dull thinking, and poor sight. The brain and spinal cord are referred to as the sea of marrow. Marrow is the basis for the formation of bone marrow, which nourishes the bones. If kidney jing is weak, the bones will be brittle and the teeth loose. Weak jing in children will cause poor bone development. It is said, if the kidneys are hot, the spine will not be straight, the bones will wither, and the marrow will decrease. Fifth, the kidneys govern water. There is an internal water distribution system via the triple burner or san jiao, 
which will be discussed in detail in the future. Briefly, the kidneys receive fluids from the lungs, some of which are excreted and some of which are vaporized by kidney yang and sent via the gate of vitality or Ming Mun back up to the lungs. The Ming Mun will be discussed later in this episode. The kidneys are the gate of the stomach. The stomach is considered to be the origin of fluids. It receives fluids from food and drink. The kidneys transform and excrete fluids. If the kidneys cannot excrete fluids properly, they will stagnate, accumulate, and affect the stomach. The kidneys hate dryness. Internal or external dryness comes from loss of body fluids, from perspiration, or smoking. It can injure kidney yin. Tobacco dries the blood and injures kidney yin. I often see smokers who have low back pain and do not understand that it can come from smoking. Sixth, the kidneys control the reception of qi. To make use of clean air qi, the kidneys and lungs work together. The lungs send qi downward and the kidneys respond by holding it down. If the kidneys are too weak to grasp this qi, it rebels upward creating chest congestion with difficult inhalation and asthma. Seventh, the kidneys open into the ears. The ears rely on nourishment from kidney jing for their proper functioning and are therefore related to the kidneys. If the kidneys are weak, hearing may be impaired and there may be tinnitus. Deafness and tinnitus are always treated via the kidneys. Eighth, the kidneys manifest in the head hair. The head hair relies on nourishment from kidney jing to grow. If kidney jing is weak or declining, the hair will become thin, gray, brittle, dull, and may fall out. Ninth, the kidneys control the lower orifices. They control the urethra and the anus. If the kidney jing is weak, Urine may leak out causing incontinence or enuresis. They also control the seminal duct in men. Kidney chi or kidney jing deficiency may cause spermatorrhea or nocturnal emissions. They also control the anus. If kidney chi is deficient, there may be diarrhea or prolapse of the anus. Tenth, the kidneys control strength and skill. If the kidneys are strong, a person can work hard and with purpose for a long time. Conversely, a kidney disharmony can drive a person to overwork and possibly become a workaholic. If the kidneys are weak, then the person will lack the strength necessary for long periods of hard work. They influence our capacity for skilled and delicate activities. Number 11. The kidneys house willpower. If the kidneys are weak, Willpower will be lacking, and the mind will be discouraged and easily swayed from its aims. Finally, the kidneys house the gate of vitality, or the Ming Mun. The gate of vitality is said to occupy the space between the two kidneys. It is depicted as a cauldron filled with fluid and a fire burning beneath it. It is considered to be the organ of water and fire, and is the residence of yin and yang. It is the source of fire for all of the internal organs. It is the vehicle through which kidney yin and kidney yang moisten and warm the organs. If Ming Mun fire is deficient, the functional activity of all of the organs will be impaired, leading to fatigue, depression, a lack of vitality, negativity, and a sensation of cold. Ming Mun fire is essential to the transformation of fluids. It warms the spleen and stomach to aid digestion. If it is deficient, the spleen cannot transform so digestion is weak, leading to diarrhea, fatigue, a feeling of cold and cold limbs. Ming Mun fire is essential for healthy sexual functioning. If Ming Mun fire is deficient, the sperm and uterus will turn cold, causing impotence, infertility, and vaginal discharge. It is the root of source qi, or yuan qi. Yuan qi is a form of dynamically activated jing and acts as a catalyst to assist in the formation of blood. It assists reception of qi, as mentioned earlier. 
the lungs send qi downward, and the kidneys respond by holding it down. The Ming Mun also assists the heart in its function of housing the mind, which we will discuss in a later episode. Ming Mun fire ascends to the heart to provide it with the heat necessary for its functioning, and has a strong influence on the mental state and happiness. If it is weak, the person will be unhappy, depressed, and lack vitality. As you can see, the kidney functions are numerous and complex, and play a crucial role in the functioning of the human body. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. If you have questions, please contact me at joel at americandragon.com. In our next episode, I will be describing the functions of the lungs. I'll see you then.